Hello and welcome to another one in my series of white glove reviews. This time something that I've been after for a while. A decent battery charger. Now like a lot of people I got a lot of different size rechargeable batteries. Double A's, triple A's, 18650's, 123's and even a couple of D cells and it's very difficult to find a charger that will deal with everything. But this <laughs> It's the Sky RC MC3000. And as you can see, it deals with multiple battery sizes, multiple battery chemistries, and the icing on the cake, you can use it with an app. More of that later. So let's have a look and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so we've got a bit of foam, a manual here, it's quite comprehensive and it needs to be, this is quite a complicated charger to use, or it can be quite a complicated ch charger to use. You've got standard UK 3 pin figure of 8, power cable and then the power supply which on here is 15 volts at 4 amps, quite a beefy power supply and it needs to be. And then you've got the charger itself. Again, a beefy unit. So let's just put this on the table. Get rid of the box and have a look. Okay, so quite a beefy unit. Four very significant charging bays with sprung loaded terminals. Um, four individual temperature monitors for the batteries. Uh, large display, four buttons that access each individual charging bay, a setup, up and down and enter arrow. And then on the other side, so here you've got the PC link socket, you can link the charger to a PC to manage it. You've got 5 volts, 2.1 amps out on a standard USB socket and the Bluetooth activity light. On the underside you've got the fan and two extendable feet nothing on this side and then on the back just the DC input socket. There's the charging bays and you can see the four individual temperature sensors there. Let's power it up. As you can see it starts up pretty quickly, no lengthy booting process. Let's put a couple of 18650 batteries in for charging. I'm just topping these up. One, two, you might be able to see it's already giving you flashing red lights and tells you that it wants to run a lithium ion program on them. You can use the charger and you can use the buttons on the front to enter and set up a charging program. So you can use the setup and you can change change the program and even change the battery chemistry but it's a bit fiddly on here so I much prefer to use the very simple app simple but comprehensive and so I've set these up you can go into here and you can edit so you can choose your number of batteries charge capacity charge current cut off cut off voltage cut temperature, reset time, everything. And in fact, you can even change the battery chemistries. So you choose a lot of different battery chemistries and you can change whether you want to charge, refresh, break in, cycle them. So for these, they're lithium iron and we want to charge them. So we go OK. The one thing you have to make sure of is that the cut time is set correctly. So we just go save, we choose it again, and we go start. And then you see the charger starting. For some reason it thinks it's charging on bay 4, but there is nothing in bay 4. So a couple of minutes ago I had the notification sound telling me everything's finished. Two full batteries completed. Took 54 and 56 minutes, not too bad. 
Uh, if we have a look at the details, I can see the charging graph for one and for two, and again the details at the bottom. Overall, I really like this charger. You can use multiple size batteries and battery chemistries. It can charge, discharge, recycle, refresh, and store your batteries. There is one downside. The Bluetooth range is not what it should be. It tops out at about three and a half to four meters. I'd really like to see it up to about 10 so I could control it and monitor it from another room. But apart from that, I really like it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.